患者の役目を続けよう。ならば、いかがいたしましょう。シンガンエピソード5 brought a new player into the game The Heir's Mother and revealed more about Lady Mariko's past. As her relationship with John Blackthorne became more complicated, taking many by surprise, including Lady Mariko, Shingun's newest episode revealed that Tota Buntaro was not dead. The samurai returned alongside Lord Toranaga, only to find out he would now have to live under the same roof as the Anjin. The tension involving Blackthorne, Mariko, and Buntaro. Set the tone for Shingun episode 5, which ended with Toranaga almost dying after a massive earthquake took place. Why Tota Buntaro didn't fight John Blackthorne? Tota Buntaro's return led to some very intense scenes involving him and John Blackthorne, all of which culminated in a confrontation between the two characters. After the Anjin saw that Buntaro had hurt Mariko. While it seemed like there would be some sort of duel between Buntaro and Toranaga, especially given how they were previously comparing their skills, Lady Mariko's husband simply apologized to the Anjin. The samurai noted that he was dishonoring Blackthorn's home. And refused to get up and pick up his sword for a fight. Everything Shingun Episode 5 revealed about Lady Mariko's past. Hosokawa Gracia, a significant figure in Sengoku, Japan, who became a Christian at an early age, is the inspiration for Shingun's Lady Mariko. One of Japan's great unifiers, Oda Nobunaga, was betrayed and assassinated by Gracia's father, Akechi Mitsuhide. Similar to Hosokawa Gracia, Lady Mariko's father, Akechi san, was a traitor who murdered Lord Kuroda. Mariko told Blackthorn that she was compelled to wed Tota Buntaro, a samurai, despite her desire to commit seppuku with her family. Since then, Mariko has endured pain and disgrace in the hopes that one day she will be permitted to pass away. What is next for John Blackthorn and Lady Mariko's relationship in Shimkun? Blackthorn, Confronted Mariko about how she chose to live her life, stating that she could not spend her days wishing to be dead and being resentful that she was not allowed to commit seppuku. This caused them to argue, and Mariko now seems to regret having told her life story to Blackthorn. She has put an end to whatever relationship they had, saying that, from now on, They will only talk to each other whenever there is something to be translated. Whether they will reconcile in Shingun's next episodes remains to be seen.